All right, joining us now to further discuss the recent boom in Chinese tourism, we're joined by Joy Huang, Assistant Professor at the Department of Recreation, Sport and Tourism at the University of Illinois. Joy, thank you for joining us tonight. Hi, Michelle. Thank you very much for having me here. All right, Joy, it is estimated that nearly 6 million overseas trips are going to be made by Chinese people during the Spring Festival. That will be a record high. What is behind the surge in overseas travel? Why is it such a popular time for trips? Well, I think the major reason for Chinese people traveling to the United States during the Lunar New Year is because we have the national holiday. A lot of people, we don't have regular vacation time in China. And the Lunar New Year is the time that they can have the national holiday as long as two weeks to have their winter holiday. So it's a good time for the family or domestically. And the previous, the really family. But recent years, young generations still now feel that traveling to overseas, uh, take advantage of this vacation is a new trend of their way of celebrating the, the Lunar New Year. Well, Joy, we are seeing indeed that a lot of Chinese are taking advantage of to travel abroad. Which overseas travel destinations are attracting the most Chinese tourists this Spring Festival? During the Spring Festival, um, I, I read the recent news and lo uh, closely look at the uh, data that are presented by the different media and uh, focus on the uh, closer destination to China in South Asia so we can see Thailand, uh, South Korea, Japan, and the long haul destinations like United States and Australia are becoming popular and popular in the last uh, couple of years. Joy, we're seeing that uh, the last days. What are some other countries doing to entice more Chinese tourists? Um, South Korea, now they are doing the, uh, uh, they allow Chinese to travel and when they arrive to South Korea, they can get the visa immediately from the country and also Thailand. I think this country benefit a lot from this loosened visa, visa policy because Chinese tourists they can easily get there. So we can see the number goes up very fast comparing the last uh, uh, two years ago, Thailand and South Korea, they become the favorite destination for Chinese tourists. Well, China's tourists are expected uh, to spend at least 10,000 yuan, that's around $1,600 per capita during uh, this holiday season. How does this compare with previous years? Are you seeing that China's slowing economy has impacted travel and spending in any way? Well, that's an interesting question. Everybody says that China's economy now is slowing down. But um, according to my observation, I don't see any impact at this moment impacting, affecting Chinese uh, tourist expenses in, in their overseas travel. Because if you look at the overseas travel, what Chinese, this population right now, their travel purpose are majorly focusing on the leisure travel and the personal trips. They are not sponsored by the, uh, the, 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 or they don't get any expenses or paid by the government. So basically, I think this group of people has been in the upper middle class of China's whole population and society. And I don't see um, the impact affecting them. And uh, also, comparing to the last year, basically, these expenses has increased. Joy, what travel trends have emerged this year? I know that uh, Chinese tourists tend to like the package deals. Are we seeing any particular new travel trend for mm -hmm. this year's uh, Spring Festival? I think there are two chances, obviously. One trend is more and more people starting to use mobile devices, especially mobile phone, to do the booking online. They take advantage of the apps, and they find that they can find deals through these mobile devices platform, through these apps on the mobile devices. And they started to do some group tri uh, group purchase, which is cheaper and uh, uh, a good deal for them. At the same time, uh, another trend is emerging is l more and more people are doing the independent travel. That means the package tour in overseas, tra in overseas travel is not as popular as before. 
um, um, according to this year's CTRIPS uh, statistics data, they found that over half of the Chinese tourists book tour and plan their tour by themselves, which means they are independent travelers. Because you can tell that the majority of the over overseas outbound Chinese tourists, now they, ab they are able to drive cars. They know how to drive cars. All right. And they are able to understand and speak English a little bit. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Joy Huang, Assistant Professor in the Department of Recreation, Sport and Tourism at the University of Illinois.